Okay, so this part right here in the question tells you everything that you're going to need to do. All right, it tells you to, so if you can read this mathematically, you're going to be good. This says take A, put it into the function, and then whatever you get there, set it equal to seven. All right, and then you are solving for all the values of A. So I'm going to take this function, what do you mean draw a line through that? I'm going to take this function right here and I'm going to put A into it. So I'm going to have a 2A squared plus a 17a plus a 15. All right, now keep doing, reading this. It said put a in the function, that's what I did. Equals, put the seven down. All right, now just like we did on that last one, the seven is over here on the right-hand side. I need it over here. So I'm going to subtract seven from both sides of the equation so that I get that equals zero on there. So two a squared plus 17a, and then that'll be a plus eight. Okay, and then we're back to the same concept. We got to be able to factor something to be able to solve for a. All right, this is going to be a straightforward uh, slide and divide. All right, so a squared plus 17a plus 16. All right, leading coefficient of one, which is what we want on that slide and divide. That's the whole point of doing it that way. Mm, looks like we'll have a 16 and a one. Everything's got to be pluses. All right, and then don't forget to divide by the two because you did the slide, now you gotta do the divide. All right, this will give me a 2a plus a one. This will give me an a plus an eight. Okay, we're still trying to solve, okay? We're still trying to find all values of a, so we're trying to solve. So a equals a negative one half, and a equals a negative eight. Okay, so let's check, yep, that looks right. And again, they're probably gonna ask you to do this in a solution set. 